Cricket presents The Campfire, and today we are talking District 45A Division 1. The schools in this district include Cleburne, Granbury, Colleen, Ellison, Shoemaker, Lake Belton, Midlothian, Red Oak, and Waco. Let's analyze these teams in our film session. Midlothian went unscathed in this district a year ago. As a matter of fact, the Panthers had an undefeated regular season and went three rounds deep until losing by a touchdown to eventual state champions Alito. They will certainly miss offensive MVP Chad Ragel at quarterback, but that spot will be filled by the coach's son, Drew Wendell, in 2023. He'll have one of the state's best receivers, Brant Wesco, to throw to, and Midlothian also brings back strength on defense in Notori Burnett and Braden Smith. There was a three-way tie for second place last year, and all three will be favorites to make the postseason again this fall. Red Oak introduces new head coach Melvin Robinson, and they return some talented young receivers in Montez Williams and Braden Robinson. Lake Belton will be fighting for a district championship as well with district MVP Micah Hudson back, plus a solid secondary led by Peanut Brazel at safety. Shoemaker also tied for second last year, and they will make a charge behind running back Jared Hicks. The rest of the district may be a tier behind the top four, but will still put up a challenge. Granberry has running back Jaden Rogers returning in the backfield, while Cleburne got a tremendous year out of freshman Malachi Cunningham at receiver, and he still has three years left. Defensive Newcomer of the Year Samaj Howard will be a problem in the trenches for Ellison. Colleen will build off a three-win district season, while Waco only averaged 4.5 points of offense in district play, so they will want to adjust that in 2023. Switch to Cricket and get a free Moto G 5G with your new plan. Smile, you're on Cricket. Players on the Rise is brought to you by Parker University. Do you or your student want a career training the world's best athletes? Check out our bachelor's degree in strength and human performance today. For an even deeper look at 4-5A Division I, here's producer Ward Fasold and insider Matt Diggs with the District Breakdown. All right, it's District Breakdown, and we have moved on to 4, 5A Division One, a district that I had fun covering more than I thought I would last year because, uh, you know, there's a lot of non-DFW teams in there, in my opinion. Of course, our guy Diggs, he doesn't, you know, he's got a wider compass than, than I have, and he's here to talk about it as well. Let's talk a little bit about that district because that came down to Midlothian Lake Belton late in the year, and, and Midlothian pulled it off to win it, but we also had the – Surprise Red Oak win in the first round of the players over Ryan. And a lot of cool things happened in that district last year. What do you think about this year, Diggs? Really did. And when you really kind of break it down, so many competitive games. If you remember on the podcast every week, we were talking about one-point games. You had Blake Belton and Midlothian, a one-point game. Red Oak and Midlothian, just a bunch of games under one score. And really, I think this year we're not going to see any change in the playoff teams. I think we might see a little bit of shifting in the order of those playoff teams. But I think that this district begins and ends with Midlothian. And they, they're going to have some big question marks to uh, really get in to, to answer. When you have to return, a, a when you lose your quarterback, I think that really speaks – uh, you know, you, you got to show that resilience of uh, a Bryant Wesco. I mean, he is a special player award uh, and he's coming back at wide receiver. I think you might see them use him at running back a little bit. Uh, and speaking of running backs, you got Michael Garber coming back at running back. But quarterback ward, I, 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 a French a French speaking guy, Drew Wendell. Got, got got the senior coach's son out there. We, we love coach's sons. We love when they get to be quarterback. I think you're going to have Midlothian one, Colleen Shoemaker two, Lake Belton three, Red Oak four. You could put Colleen Ellison and Waco in a blender, put them five, six, and seven. I think it's Colleen Ellison and Waco in that order. I think Granbury's a little bit better than Cleburne. I have Granbury eight and Cleburne nine in this district. Gotcha. All right, we're going to move on to 5-5A Division one next week. The Region two. Region 2. There you go. Moving on. We'll post the entire breakdown segment this Wednesday on our social media pages. Now let's take a look at some game changers and our Players on the Rise presented by Parker University. Despite Midlothian running a ground attack offense, the best player in this district may be wide receiver Bryant Wesco. He brought down 58 passes for 1,160 yards and 17 touchdowns in his junior year, as Wesco is a big play receiver. Bryant can work the middle of the field and rack up those yards after catch. Wesco is an accomplished long and triple jumper as well. He's got offers from all the big dogs, including Oklahoma, Texas, and TCU. 
At Lake Belton, Micah Hudson can be argued as the best receiver in the district as well. Micah was the district's overall MVP as he hauled in 65 catches for almost 1,200 yards and 14 touchdowns. He's just as dangerous lining up on the outside as he is a slot receiver, which is why he is also a highly coveted recruit. Hudson has a ton of offers, including Ohio State, Alabama, and Georgia. One of the best defensive linemen in 4-5A is Tanner Thompson of Red Oak. Last year, Thompson accumulated 80 tackles and 10 sacks to lead the way for the Hawks. He was a first-team all-district selection in 2022 and will be counted on to show senior leadership for Red Oak's defense in the fall. Quarterback Selman Bridges of Lake Belton has gained some momentum on the recruiting scene. Bridges recorded 42 tackles, two picks, and returned one for a touchdown as a junior. Selman is also one of the fastest DBs in the state, which is why he has garnered scholarship offers from Texas, Arkansas, and USC, among others. Players on the Rise is brought to you by Parker University. Check out our bachelor's degree in strength and human performance today. Switch to Cricket and get four lines for $25 each per month, plus unlimited nationwide 5G. Smile, you're on Cricket. Our Ward Fasol caught up to Red Oak head coach Melvin Robinson to talk about his Hawks and the rest of the district in our Media Day segment. All right, it's Media Day. We are talking 4-5A Division One with our coach Melvin Robinson from Red Oak. Coach, they ripped that interim word off of your head coaching thing and you're ready to start this deal uh for 2023 how excited are you to be the head man here for for uh you know officially and and to attack this kind of district that was so competitive at the top last year i am so blessed to have seen this opportunity to coach at this as a level of football right now uh it's going good right now everything's going well and and i'm like I said, i'm so blessed to have this opportunity to coach at this this level of football and it's a great, very competitive district also. When you, uh, when you talk about this district, there's some of the best wide receivers in the state in this district. Now, your guys aren't at that level yet, but you have a couple of young guys that really, they made themselves on the first team uh, all district, and they got something to prove as well. Talk about how your receiving core looks and, and maybe how you guys look on the offensive mm -hmm. side of the ball. All right, as of right now, we have two, two young receivers, like you said before, uh, Braden Robinson, and Taz Williams are very talented young receivers. Uh, as we said before, this district, man, we got some great receivers. So you're talking about Hudson, you're talking about uh, Brian over at Midlow, and guys over at Shoemaker. They, they're all good receivers. And it's going to be a competitive district to try to keep on top of it. Hey, I appreciate you joining us, man. This is going to be a fun district again next year. And I know we're way early on this, but we always, you know, we're in Texas, man. We got to talk about football. So I appreciate you coming with me. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me on this for you on your shock show. No problem. You can catch the entire interview Friday on our social media channels. That's going to do it for this week's campfire. Next week, we dive into District 55A Division One. Until then, have a great week, everybody.